Step number one, assemble tools and supplies. To save time and energy, be prepared and organized by having your chemicals, cleaning tools, stocking supplies, and most important, your personal protective equipment, which would include gloves and safety glasses. Step number two, make an announcement. As a courtesy, a custodian must make an announcement before entering the restroom. Open door slightly, knock and shout, custodian. Step number three, place restroom close sign in the middle of the doorway. Step number four, perform initial inspection. Police the room looking for broken items, spills, or anything that needs to be reported. Step 5. Pre-spray. Pre-spray the sinks, urinals, and toilets and surrounding area. Allow for proper dwell time. Step number 6. Stock. Fill paper towel, toilet paper, seat cover, and soap dispensers, always making sure they are dispensing properly. Also in women's restrooms, fill sanitary product dispensers as required. Step number seven, dust and spot clean. Using a damp paper towel or preferably red microfiber cloth, Dust all horizontal ledges that are 70 inches and below, including partitions, door frames, door handles, pipes, and baseboards. Spot cleaning. Clean the spots on trash cans, walls, door plates, kick plates, and clean up any graffiti. Step number eight, sweep. Using your angle broom, start sweeping behind the entry door. Sweep the floor along the edges, out from the corners, behind the toilets, and underneath any trash containers. Sweep the debris to the middle of the room and remove with your dustpan. Step number nine, clean sinks, bright work, and mirrors. Using a sink sponge with a small amount of cream cleanser, clean the inside bowl only. Then spray the surrounding area with disinfectant and wipe dry with a paper towel or red microfiber cleaning cloth. Polish faucet handles and spout and thoroughly clean all spots from the mirrors. Step number 10, clean the urinals. Start by flushing the urinal two times. Then using your green scratch pad and a generous amount of cream cleanser, clean the inside bowl of the urinal only, paying special attention to underneath the rim and down into the hole. Spray with disinfectant and wipe down the entire outside of the urinal with paper towels or a red microfiber cloth, making sure to polish the flush handle and pipes. Step number 11. Clean the toilets. Start by flushing the toilet three times. Then use a plunger to lower the water level for more effective cleaning. Step 
Using your green scratch pad and cream cleanser, start under the rim and work your way down into the hole of the toilet. Spray with disinfectant and wipe the toilet starting from top to bottom. Always leave the toilet seat in the up position for inspection. Step number 12. Empty the trash. Remove the trash liner and place in the receptacle on your cart. Always replace the liners in restroom trash containers. Step number 13, mop. When using a microfiber mopping system, begin mopping at the entrance behind the door first, going along the edges of the floor. Then mop the entire area using a figure eight pattern going backwards out of the room. When using a string mop system, always double ring your mop so it won't be too wet. Make sure that your mop bucket is behind you as you mop your way out of the room. Step number 14, disinfect your gloves. Before removing your gloves, Spray them with disinfectant over your trash receptacle. Dry them off and place them back on your cart. Step number 15, remove the floor sign. When you have checked to make sure the floor is completely dry, then and only then can you remove the wet floor sign. Also close the door and place the door stop back on your cart. Step number 16. Wash your hands. To keep from coming into contact with dangerous pathogens, always wash your hands thoroughly after completing any cleaning task, especially before eating or putting your hands to your face.